Good day Taurus and welcome to my channel. This is your monthly reading for July 2024. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well and I hope this reading resonates with you. Uh, note, uh, again, uh, this is not my new setup or anything. Uh, this is just a basic setup that I'm having right now because I'm at a friend's house uh, dog sitting this week. So... Anyway, let's get to it. Universe speak. Spirit's guide. What needs to be known. What lessons need to be learned. Queen of Spades. Two of Clubs. King of Hearts. And the King of Diamonds. Very nice. Okay, so... Uh, your general energy is the King of Diamonds, uh, Lord of Value. Yeah, so uh, through your hard work, you will be successful. And that hard work might be through a self-made business. So those of you that have a self-made business, it is definitely time to, to put the work in. You know, put the work into your self-made business because you're going to do great. You're going to be very successful uh, at it. Um, and that can be any kind of self-made business. Making jewelry, making YouTube videos, whatever. You know, whatever you do. Writing books. Um, I know those aren't normal, you know, jobs. But I'm just saying that it can be anything. Uh, but anyway, uh, at the beginning of the month, the month, did I say week? Month. You're going to be very successful this month through your hard work uh, and being a self-made business person. Uh, at the beginning of the month, though, you have the Queen of Spades. There is a warning, an instigator. Somebody is resentful of you, most likely of your self-made talents, and they want to put a monkey wrench in your plans. Now, you need to know all the facts about this person before you confront them. Uh, you'll most likely catch on to who this instigator is uh, right away, but you have to remember uh, you want to be able to have all the facts before you present, you know, come to them on why they're so resentful, why they're instigating and trying to put a monkey wrench into your plans. Uh, that way, you know, you come, you know, you know, you come prepared, right? That way they can't trip you up uh, with, with nonsense that, you know, uh, because you don't know what you're talking about or whatever. Uh, but also, uh, children can be instigators uh, quite easily. You know, uh, perhaps your self-made business might come in the way of them, or they might think that it's going to come in the way of them and you or whatever, you know. And you want to know those facts, you know, of why they would feel this way before you go and, and, and confront them. Uh, in the middle of the month, there is going to be some waiting and delays. Uh, this can be in business or love or both. Uh, I would say, from the cards I'm seeing on here, I'm going to say that it is definitely most likely business. Uh, so, in your self-made business, there, there's going to be some waiting and delays. Uh, not for all of you. Some of you, this might be love. This might be lo waiting and delays of, of love. But for uh, a lot of you, it's going to be business. Um, and all you can do is plan and prepare. Plan and prepare for what you're going to do if it goes sour. Plan and prepare what you're going to do if it goes good. But what you don't want to do is you don't want to catastrophize. You don't want to think, how can it go bad? How can it go good? You don't want to start thinking about those scenarios because you'll come up with a million of them and drive yourself crazy, which could, you know, ruin things for your self-made business, honestly. You know, that's that's a dangerous uh, thing. So just plan and prepare how you're going to handle um, the good or the bad, right? And, and not the how, all right? Uh, but at the end of the week, you have the king of hearts. So there is a kind-hearted friend or lover... Uh, that will be accompanying you here at the end of the week. Uh, and they are honest and true. So if you're questioning this person at the end of the week, um, if you can trust them or not, you can. And this would be like, 
somebody that's really kind hearted somebody that is probably quite positive like they're probably a very positive person and whatnot and uh they might even help you with this instigator perhaps they can help you uh take care you know uh take care of the instigator or uh help you talk to the instigator or whatever you need to do um and that could very well be part of the waiting and delays is that you're waiting for this kind-hearted friend or lover to help you with this instigator um but also i'm i'm pretty sure that with uh with a lot of you it's it's all business you know this person could be coming in uh to help you with your self-made business and maybe that's what you're waiting for is for them to answer you maybe they maybe you need help you know from them you know in some way but either way, uh, you are a lord of value, self-made business person. You will be successful as long as you put in the hard work. Uh, there is an instigator that's resentful. Know all the facts before you, uh, you before you confront them. Uh, there is a kind-hearted friend or lover coming in at the end of the month. Month. Did I say week? I said week again, didn't I? Jesus. Month. At the end of the month. Uh, but there will be waiting and delays i kind of feel like the waiting and delays i feel like there might be more than just one wait you know you might might be waiting and 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 there might be delays on more than just one thing like i said it can be business and love and love can be friendship even and whatnot so yeah you're just going to be just just plan and prepare for the good and the bad and not sit there and catastrophize about scenarios let's go ahead and see what the uh, tarot cards have to say Universe speak. Spirit's guide. What needs to be known. What lessons need to be learned. Okay, yeah, again. Uh, in the Five of Swords here, uh, the man is picking up the... Uh, he's collecting the swords from the fallen battle. Uh, his side has, has fallen uh, in battle. And he is looking upon the battlefield trying to figure out what was it that went wrong and i feel like this is just uh, this is just the tarot cards reinforcing the plan and prepare uh situation plan and prepare oh and the facts this can be the facts too um you know really analyzing really getting the knowledge of you know why this happened and how to stop it and all that good stuff or how to handle uh, a good or bad situation so that's how i feel like this card is saying is just you know definitely know the facts and plan and prepare uh but don't drive yourself crazy right you need to get those swords back to the back to your army so there you go i hope this resonates i hope it helps in some way and if it does hit that like button and if you would please comment share and subscribe i hope to see you back here next month and until then stay safe stay mindful and stay healthy.